all our respected viewers the learner of english language all our esteemed subscribers you all are heartily welcome to our channel kcp competitive english part 409 today we are going to present you like the all days the very important questions those are include your grammar vocabulary exercise and that is most like possible and expected to appear at your examination script of competitive examinations okay but today you know that if you do not include this type of questions in your preparations then the examination seem to be harder to you i mean your preparations will not be completed okay if you do not include such type of questions in your preparations yes so let us prepare this vocabulary exercise these types are frequently asked especially by banking i mean the sbi bank po police and other ranking post that have high amount of salaries okay yes let us start it and see what is the questions and how to answer this number 1 she feels bad when she cannot carry up what she considers her responsibility yes for understand the sentence she feels bad when she cannot carry up what she considers her responsibility here carry up be phasal verb is underlined and the instruction says that here the underlined phasal verb means Phrasal verb is carry up. Carry up phrasal verb. What is the meaning of this phrasal verb? The question is asked to you. Okay. Option three, option three are given, but in your competitive examinations, four options will be given in each questions. Okay. But there are three options for selecting easily by yourself. A. Abduct. B. Capitalize. C. decimate what is the meaning you know capitalize means what do you mean by capitalize capitalize means convert into or provide with capital also this word means begin a word with capital letter in writing that is capitalize so capitalize will not be answer okay reject it then decimate decimal means destroy large proportions of something so decimal may be also rejected because it is not the answer answer is abduct okay abduct verb and carry up phrasal verb okay abduct or carry up means what do you mean by carry up it means seat or snatch somebody easily yes question number 1 is over we hope that you have already understood it then come to question number 2 a sullen glance here is also like the number 1 sullen it underline here sullen means sullen you know this is an adjective sullen glance sullen means looking gloomy and wanting to speak more b looking bad tempered and not writing to speak c with humorous and delightful mood what is the answer select the meaning a b c from the four of three options okay looking gloomy and wanting to speak more and looking bad tempered and not wanting to speak more this is the fully the opposite meanings of the a and b we find between the two so the answer is number 2 b b will be the answer looking bad tempered okay this is the answer yes then come to question number 3 what do you mean by tinster tinster meanings 
ए इंडियन ट्रक ड्राइवर बी फ्रेंच टैक्सी ड्राइवर सी अमेरिकन लॉरी ड्राइवर सो टीम स्टेर दिस इज ऑल्सो यू हैव टू थिंक अ लॉट एंड यू शुड प्रिपेयर ए लॉट बिफोर यू अपीयरिंग एट द एग्जामिनेशन दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर ऑल्सो फ्रिक्वेंट इन द High paid salary is ranking post. Okay, answer is team star means American tax American lorry driver is the answer. Then question number four. Choose one word for the study of earthquakes. What do you mean by the study of earthquakes? A analogy. B Ecology, C. Seismology. You know, logy means every words. That means the suffix or ending words is l o g y logy. Logy, you know, logy means the study of. Analogy means what is analogy? Analogy means resemble in some particulars between things. Otherwise, unlike. That means it means similarity. So this will not be the answer. Ecology means ecology means study of relation of organism to one another and their surroundings. Okay, its adjective is ecological. So ecology also will not be answer. Then answer is choose one word for the study of earthquakes. Answer is your Seismology will be the answer. Select question number four. I mean option C. Okay. Then come to question number four. No four have already been discussed. Come to the question number five. So these types are called you know the vocabulary exercise or vocabulary questions. We have also dealt a lot in our previous lessons, previous classes. You can also watch it and review our lessons. Okay, searching the vocabulary exercise of the competitive KCP competitive is yes. Then question number five. Question number five says that yes. Electric lights. Electric light, okay. Illumin, illumin. Mark the spelling. Spelling is illu i l l u m i n e. But pronunciation should be illumin. Yes, electric light illumin our house or houses. Okay, here illumine means. What do you mean by illumine? I mean the online word. What is the meaning of online word? It is a verb. Okay, so meaning we are giving you three options for your then third. That means to think of the answer. Obscure, obvious, c u r e. Obscure option B. Option B is don't. D A U N T don't. And option C is brighten. Okay. Brighten all are the verbs. So what do you mean by illumine? In this sentence, electric lights illumine our houses. Okay. Obscure. Do you know what is the meaning of obscure? Its dictionary meaning is opposite. It is the opposite meaning of illumine. Okay. Don't means discourage or depress. Discourage, depress. This is the meaning of don't. So answer is brighten. Okay. Brighten is the answer here. Illumine means brighten. Question number six. What is the 
synonym of synonym and antonym which type of questions are very common to every competitive examination so you know we have also dealt it in our previous lessons in a large, large amount you can also see it yes what is the synonym what is the synonym of lurid lurid synonym okay so can you think it without any options but options are the must in your OMR sheet you have to dark can only one option a b c d so one is a bright option b lurid synonym vivid okay vivid and option c look at this tacky t a c k y tacky okay you know all of the adjectives bright vivid and tacky bright means bright means you know bright vivid related to light or color that means strong or intense that is vivid of course it is not the answer tacky means tacky is a verb is comparative and superlative degree is tackier and tackiest you know slightly sticky slightly sticky that is tacky tacky also will not be the answer so this is the wrong answer you can select it and the right answer of that means the synonym of lurid is bright is the right answer you have to select question number 6 a yes this type of vocabulary exercise are very common for your examinations competitive examinations you can also see it. the syllabus syllabus includes such types new pattern of questions are given to the competitive examinations okay so be prepared for your upcoming government examinations okay and thank you for watching our channel kcp competitive english